One of the big questions that business leaders have these days is whether we are heading toward deglobalized world or not. Uh, but our research highlights that uh, we still uh, remain in a deeply uh, connected world. Um, but then the fabric of the connection is changing toward more intangible and knowledge-driven flows. Keeping this context in mind, leaders can um, explore three different types of actions. The first action will be um, you know, play offense and take advantage of you know, growing flows and then identify more growth opportunities. Right? For example, if you look at the, uh, the data flows, it has been growing at around 50% uh, between 2010 and 2019. If you look at the flows of intellectual properties or services, it has been growing at around 5 to 6% uh, per year, which is double the pace of the other uh, goods trade. Right? So therefore, you know, can you take advantage of this trend and innovate your business model and keep growing? So that's the one opportunity. Second opportunity is to enhance resilience for your own business. And you know, one uh, uh, challenge that we identified from our research was the other uh, risk associated with concentration. We analyzed about 6,000 globally traded products and we found out that uh, about 20% uh, of the products in terms of quantity, 10% in terms of value, uh, are highly concentrated, meaning fewer than three countries account for almost all global exports. Right? So therefore, you know, how do you manage this concentration through diversification or substitution or sometimes building long-term relationship with your core supplier, suppliers will be very critical. Third opportunity is to enhance the resilience for the entire system beyond your own business. Um, uh, for example, uh, by forming a public-private partnership or even uh, forming the coalition among other private sector partners. COVID is a great example of uh, those partnerships uh, in terms of dealing with very big challenges that we had been facing.